that being said. So yesterday I decided uh, to ingest uh, mushrooms of the magical variety. And then after doing so, I watched a film called Willy's Wonderland starring Nicolas Cage. Been a little bit of on a, I'm on a cage spree here. Uh, again, I'm still within the confines of the Faraday cage uh, being built here. Um, I'm taking, uh, I, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm doing this in the Faraday cage. I'm running from the YouTube cyber ninjas. Uh, and so again, watching some Nicolas Cage movies. So for those of you that don't know, I've recently undergone a project, uh, a new project. A lot of people know that I collect PS1 games. Now I collect Nicolas Cage movies. So I'm going to try to collect, have a physical copy of every single Nicolas Cage movie. And I want to review every single Nicolas Cage movie. He's my favorite actor. So let's go into Willy's Goddamn Wonderland. So this movie... Uh, I've had this movie as described as Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, but with Nick Cage. Now, I don't know anything about that. I don't know what Five Nights at Freddy's is. All I know is that this movie is badass. So this movie feels like there's kind of two movies, right? There's two movies happening. There's Nicolas Cage, who's in his own world. In this movie, he's called The Janitor. Nicolas Cage's entire role is that he never says anything and he has no name, which in my opinion is a really awesome uh, plot device. I love the idea of the silent protagonist, you know, it makes me think of like Grand Theft Auto 3 or something, right? So again, in this in this uh, movie, he's a silent protagonist, right? So he's driving along a long highway and his tires get cut by some like tire trap or something. And then someone says, hey, if you clean up this old, uh, like a like fucking like Chuck E. Cheese kind of bullshit, it's called Willy's Wonderland. You clean it up, I'll fix your car for free. Uh, little do they know, little does Nick Cage know, that it's actually a scam. His car is not going to be fixed because he's going to get killed by fucking serial killer satanic cultist robots. So again, uh, but again, this feels like two movies going on because Nick Cage doesn't say anything. So, but, they're, but they do have other characters, right? So they've got this like group of ragtag teenagers that are trying to save the day and they end up getting fucking in the way and then getting themselves killed, right? So you've got some of the teenagers that are like, you know, just fucking like jerking around. Just like, oh, let's go inside the fucking hell hole. Let's see if we can help out Nicolas Cage, right? So they know that Nicolas Cage is in there. Nicolas Cage does not need their help, spoiler alert. So they all go in there and basically kill themselves. And, but what they're doing is they're basically providing the movie extra run time right they're getting uh they're getting free blood and kills on screen we even get a little sex on screen because these fucking weirdo fucking losers go in there and get themselves killed by the serial killer satan robots right it's incredible right so again one of my favorite parts about this goddamn movie um is that like Nicolas Cage is like actually dead set on cleaning Willy's Wonderland. Like he is told if I clean Willy's Wonderland, I'm going to get my car fixed and I'm going to get the fuck out of here. And so he actually does. So the movie kind of starts off as like, you know, he's like cleaning the fucking place. He finds this pinball machine, which is great. Uh, it's fucking incredible. So like, so he takes this pinball machine, he cleans it up over the course and then like he takes breaks. One of the th key pieces of dialogue is that he's told earlier, you know, be sure to take your breaks, be, you know, take your, you know, take your time, take breaks. So he does, he sets his watch to like every X amount of time. It, I, we presume it's once an hour, but we don't really know. Uh, and then he drinks a fucking soda and plays pinball. So the first couple of breaks are he's cleaning off the machine. And then every time, like, he goes back to cleaning the actual place. And then he goes to uh, killing the robots who are trying to kill him. And then he kills them back, right? Which is, so it's like, you know, you're watching. Now, keep in mind, I'm tripping on, on, on mushrooms. I didn't take a hefty dose, but I did take a, a decent enough dose to feel a little fucking funky. Um. So... Like, all of a sudden, there's, like, these other characters, they're on screen. I gotta blow my nose. <coughs> they're on They're on screen, other characters. They're saying a bunch of stupid shit. Um, and then, next scene, Nicolas Cage is beating the fuck out of, like, this goddamn, like, <coughs> like, this, like, gorilla thing on the top right of the poster. Right? And then he's drinking soda. One of my favorite parts is when he's in like the middle of a fight and there's one of the other characters and he's got like this knife or this like this like blade of some kind, right? And then like his watch uh, rings and then he hands the blade to the other character and goes to drink a soda. Like Nick Cage is in his own world in this movie and that's what I love about it because it is kind of like being on mushrooms. It's like you're just in your own world. We're all like experiencing this kind of universe at the same time, but we're all in our own worlds. So like Nick Cage pauses the fight, goes to drink a goddamn 
goddamn fucking soda. And then he plays pinball. And can we talk about the goddamn pinball, uh, the pinball montage at the end of the movie? Like, like right before he kills Willy, right? Like, or I think, yeah, it's like right before the final boss, which is Willy. Um, right. He like goes to the pinball on break and he's dancing, he's spinning and there's like music playing and he's super into it. And I was like, I was blown away. I thought it was the funnest thing. I was like having fun. I was like, woo! I was, you know, I was having a great time. He was just dancing, playing pinball. I mean, that scene alone is worth watching the entire movie because it's like one of those things where it's like the scene is better with all the context of the movie beforehand. That's one of my things. Like, I think if a movie has a really good ending, right? Like if a movie, and that doesn't even need to be an ending, but it has like a really good scene in the middle of it. That's like again, it's better because you've watched the entire movie. Like a lot of this movie is like, like again, the other characters that aren't Nick Cage have really awful fucking dialogue. Like it's really cringy. The acting is not that good. But then when Nick Cage is on screen, it's like oh my god, this is a great movie. But again, it's like watching two movies like edited together right like you get the lore you get the backstory you get the cringe you get some fun kills you get some sex and then on the other movie you got Nicolas Cage drinking soda playing pinball beating the shit out of fucking robots and it's amazing it's a great at it's so good uh, so again if you can survive and you can stomach the cringy scenes for the Nicolas Cage it's worth it if there was an edit of this movie that was just the Nick Cage scenes I would be interested in that um, because again, the rest of the movie is fluff. It's very unnecessary. If you've already seen the movie, I would love to watch like an edit of this movie because I've already seen it, right? I would love to watch a cut of this movie that's just the Nick Cage, like, you know, segments. Like, just cut literally everything else out. Any segment that has Nick Cage on it, throw that in the movie, and then it'd probably be like half the screen time. But again, it's really fucking good stuff. I love it. So again, it's like, you know, it's a 10 out of 10 juxtaposed with like a fucking 4 out of 10 B movie. Like, it's not like horrible. It's not like unwatchable. I kind of like cringy, like B movie, like slasher stuff, like Friday the 13th kind of tier, I think is what they're going for. Right. And so like, it, it's, it's good in that regard, like scream kind of stuff. You know, it's pretty good. There's a new scream apparently, but it's only in theaters because they want to kill people and I can't watch it on streaming. But anyway, uh, it's kind of like that. It's pretty good. Um, uh, you know, but like, I'm really after the Nick Cage content. It really is brilliant. So there's Willy's Wonderland. Good ass movie, folks. Good ass movie, especially if you're on drugs.